What's good, everybody? It's your guy, Bean, Beanie Kel, or the guy who just posts content. So somebody told me in my last video that I didn't, I, I, I didn't look excited. Like, I didn't look locked in. But in reality, I'm so locked in, sometimes my face just don't represent that. So, you know, we are at 223. I'm at 223 on YouTube, and I'm at 223 on Twitch. Bro, we're on a road to 250. Y'all know the word of the year, consistency, because we're going to be consistent every week of the year. And this right here, we're reacting to Kodak Black, Kodak the Boss. One thing about Kodak, man, he never misses. If you, when you listen to a Kodak album, it's going to be full of songs. It was like, damn, I could, I could rock. He always got songs on his albums. It's going to be like these couple I mess with and I could routinely listen to. So let's see what this is, because this is a single that he dropped. Let's see what this is. Kodak the Boss, first video. I be crying to his song sometimes, so like he be saying so much real shit. You know what I mean? Let me start this shit all right, cause I can never be wrong. I tried to change my life, them people call me a clone. Took the top off, I ain't drinking nothing, then I ain't pole. I brought my own I ain't smoking nothing. I hear that. Took the top off, I ain't drinking nothing, I ain't a pool. And that goes for everybody, realistically. Like, if you're with people and you don't know their intentions or you don't even know if you really trust them, don't drink something you've seen them pour. You've seen them pour. You got to pour it or you got to see them pour it or you got to pop the bottle. You got to get the bottle. Usually, when I go out or I do shit before I go out, I like getting the bottle. Because then, I mean, I know motherfuckers ain't going to do shit to me. But it's just, you know, you just never know. Realistically, you just never know. Y'all seen Hangover? He's dissing, he's he's dissing. What's bro name? This is a diss. This is a diss song. Kodak the boss, this is a diss song. I'm not stupid. I can't he's dissing Jack Boy. He's dissing Jack Boy. This is directly to Jack Boy. This is call Jack Boy. Now my Listen. Girl, a big hole. I call the bitch, no question asked. They just ten fold. Every time I come in town, everybody know. Cause niggas get to spray around and everybody out the door. You know what's going down, soon we get the low. You know, soon we get the drop, niggas getting dropped. My baby Jayla called a murder and she in the box. I tell her, keep her head up and make sure she do a squat. Mama lost her baby to the screens, he put up the block. He ain't dead, but she could tell that he love the block. 2013, it was crazy. And like that's really the problem. Like some people say they fall in love with the street so they can't leave it because like what they getting back from it is just so authentic to it. the point is like that's all they know. When in reality, motherfuckers they say, Oh, I can't wait to do I'm gonna do this now and I'm out the streets. Motherfuckers fall in love with the streets. They fall in love with everything that come with the streets. They fall in love with everything that comes with it. And if they want to fall in love with come with it, then they wouldn't fall victim to the streets. Because once you in the streets, you a victim. But once you stay, come on, bro. You in love with it. You never try and get out the streets. You never try and get out the streets, man. That shit fucked up. I mean, in my nigga spot, they just took him down. He had an AR with a stop, so he couldn't get a mine. I'm gonna beat the dope up till it locked and try to scratch me now. On this explore page thing, that's why I'm gonna find my wife. I kept it real from the jump. Fuck this mule jump. Fuck this explore page shit, man. Well, he got money. He that nigga. He could probably go on a explore page season. I can't. First, I got I'm picky too, so. But everything I touch, bump, I must be number one. I'm fantasizing on my bump by the bend the truck. Like if I cut my dread was in there, let me fuck. Like if I get a six pack, you'll let me hit that hump. Then I got part in my trunk. They try to say I skunk. Instead of congratulating, they hate it, but I ain't gave a fuck. Then I, I got part in my trunk. Instead of saying congratulations, they hate it. I said fuck. That's a bar to everybody. Bro. I kept dropping until I caught him with platinum in two months. I don't usually dwell on my Hold success, down. but fuck Hold it, I drop my nuts. Platinum. Niggas in the studio with me right now, and the niggas who got my trust. Every time I failed, I prevailed. That's why they call me a boss. If I learned a lesson from the situation, then I don't call it a loss. If I don't learn a lesson, and it, if I don't learn a lesson from the situation, I don't call it a loss. Let's just listen to that again. Because I have a theory on what I call losing versus what I call winning. 
I don't know. I'll tell it. Hold on. Let's just read it. niggas who got my trust. Every time I failed, I prevailed. That's why they call me a boss. If I learned a lesson from the situation, then I don't call it a loss. If I learned a lesson from the situation. So pretty much look at it like this. If you're doing something, right, and you feel like you was doing everything right, and you was leading, and you was about to do the right thing, but next you know something just come out of nowhere and just snuff you and slow you down. You can't think, you can't think that you fucked up your position you have to know i was doing everything right and and in that position itself it just got fucked up you know what i mean so you gotta re-rock it to go right back at it and now you gotta make the decisions to not allow that fuck up to happen and that's what that's what lessons mean man kodak always gonna have that real shit man this is a quick reaction video man if you stayed this far and you learned something like comment sub like like i said kodak always gonna come with that real shit being out